A beach on Lake Michigan is back open after three near drownings. Yeah, park officials at Grand Haven State shut down the beach on Tuesday. Police say a woman and her husband struggled while swimming before they made it to shore. And while that was happening, an off-duty police officer and bystanders saved a 12-year-old girl and an 11-year-old boy from the same waters. The yellow flag flying right now at the park, meaning swimmers need to use caution if they're going to get into the water. A woman has died in an overnight apartment fire in Midtown Detroit. It happened on Parsons Street near Cass and Martin Luther King Boulevard. Firefighters say a man in his 70s was taken to the hospital. No word on their condition. Investigators are there trying to figure out what sparked the fire inside the fifth floor apartment. Ground broken on the city of Detroit's first clinical care center. Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network is going to build the new facility on West Milwaukee. Health officials say it will be a place where adults and children can be evaluated to determine their medical necessity for crisis level services. Going to add 39 beds to the network's crisis continuum and it'll be a 24 hour clinical care center too. Think of it almost as an urgent care in your community on the physical health side, but we're going to be providing behavioral health services. So for folks who are in crisis, okay, say for example, something awful has happened in your life and it just changes, it rocks your foundation, you need someone to talk to. Or some of our folks who are going through some challenges, some difficulties, they will be able to receive services here. Yeah, it's a great step and uh, groundbreaking just today, but it'll go fairly quickly. The new facility is scheduled to open early next year.